So guys, in what will shock none of you, the government has been lying about its NHS app, or at least the way it works, costing untold thousands money and time for no actual reason at all. Now some, including the government, will likely say this was an oversight, but I'm sorry I would have to call bullshit on that one straight away. I say that not only because the article literally has whistleblower testimony, but because the government has lied and acted in clandestine fuck pig ways pretty much from the get-go. The psychological warfare campaign against the public over the past 512 days of 14 days to flatten the curve is just one example of that behaviour. Adding extra days to the app to ping more people is almost par for the course when it comes to these scumbags. If only we didn't have a corrupt and incompetent media, this shit show would be very different, I'm willing to bet. These government ministers lack the intelligence to get away with 99% of the shit they do if a competent and free media actually existed. In this case though, you can only say they did this deliberately because Hancock knew about it in advance and apparently lied about it when he knew the article is saying. Oh, and despite knowing from day one on the job, it took Sajid Javid a month to actually change it. So a month of pings that shouldn't happen, though in all honesty, downloading the app was always a stupid idea, so I guess you do stupid things, you win stupid prizes. Obviously though, this is just another embarrassment to the government, but hopefully some of those who got pinged for no reason now see how much of a mug the government has been taking them for and start to say no. We can only hope they're going to do that. Well,